Hey everybody, Fred here, TFG Media. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you a great free tool to do all your keyword analysis. So in the last SEO video, I showed you how we can make use of Google itself to start building and getting those keyword ideas. However, it's only part of the story. We need to know what kind of search volume those keywords and key phrases are getting. So I've got a great free tool for you here today that will allow you to look at that search volume. So that's what we're doing in this video. Let's get going. Okay, so before we get going, I do wanna say if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, smashing that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new videos, and giving me a thumbs up if you learned something in this video. Okay, so if there's any questions about anything I talk about in this video, please be sure to include those in the comment section below. But you can see here, I'm opened up in my Google Chrome uh, web browser. And the nice thing about this keyword tool, and it's a completely free keyword tool, by the way, is that it's a Google Chrome extension, meaning that Chrome natively supports it. All we have to do is go get it and install it. And unlike other keyword research tools that are out there, uh, this one is completely free and the developers of the extension are saying that they're always going to keep it that way, which is great because some of them, you know, like the Uber suggest, uh, if you've used these tools or keywords everywhere, you know, they wanted to reel you in saying, oh, this is a free tool, come and use it. And you get good at using that tool. And then all of a sudden they say, oh, now we're going to charge you. And so, you know what? I've, you know, I've been bouncing around different keyword tools myself because let's face it, if you're just starting out, uh, on passive income type websites and, and a YouTube channel, you don't have all this money to fork out to start paying for these tools. So free tools are the way to go. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is to open up your Google Chrome uh, browser here. And I just want you to go up and type in Chrome extensions into the search bar. And you wanna go to the Chrome web store here. And now I want you to type in, and here it is, da 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 da, keyword surfer. And this is this is the tool that we're gonna install. And it's a really slick tool. You know, I really like it. So let's go ahead. You can see it's the first hit here. We're and look, a hundred percent free extension, which is fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to Chrome. Uh, and yeah, just accept that and click add. And it's just gonna take a second to install. And you can see it shows up here. Uh, it's got this little icon here. All right, so now what we can do, I'm just gonna go over in the last video, the SEO video that we did, uh, and I'll link to it in, the, in this video here, so if you wanna go check that out. Uh, but we were talking about, I think, antennas or something. And, and there was a reason I was doing that because I own a passive income. One of my passive income websites is about cord cutting and antennas and all that stuff. So, you know, it's kind of near and dear to my heart. Anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead and type in, I think we use something like best um, outdoor HDTV antenna. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and search that. And now here it comes. So now you can see Keyword Surfer is doing a few things for us here. Number one, right in the Google results uh, or the search uh, box here, you can see I get the estimated search volume per month. Now, this is critical. I mean, you know, in the last video, I showed you how to leverage Google to do that keyword research to find those keywords or key phrases that Google is searching for. But it doesn't mean a lot if we don't have a context for the number of searches it gets per month. And so you can see this particular search phrase gets 4,400 U.S. searches per month. And let's face it, I mean, we're all kind of going after that American U.S. traffic uh, because, uh, the, you know, the United States is the largest consumer uh, on the planet. So uh, it makes sense. And you can see it gives you the uh, the cost per click if you were to, you know, to buy ad space. I don't want to complicate it, um, but if you were going to launch ad uh, campaigns, it gives you a, a, the competition, if you will, for this search phrase at 40 cents. But the biggest thing that we're interested in here is how many searches per month does this search phrase get? Because let's face it, there's no point in doing a keyword research 
finding a key phrase that you like that fits your website, but it doesn't get any searches. Yeah, you're gonna rank number one on Google for it, but if it doesn't get any searches, there's no point because nobody's searching for it. So this, this goes hand in hand and works together. So again, the name is Keyword Surfer. And I like this little uh, panel they have here as well because it gives you other keyword ideas. So this really looks like, I don't know, if you've ever used keywords everywhere, um, it, it's a really, not, I actually like this a lot better. I think it's a much better uh, put together product here. But it does give you keyword ideas for kind of kind of what we talked about in the last video with Google where it gives you some suggestions and we went down to the bottom and it gives you some other related Google search queries but this one also gives you some keyword ideas and it gives you the search volume now I should say if you're just starting out a new website I mean it's always tempting to go for those phrases that have 200,000 searches per month but I'm going to tell you right now don't because you are never going to rank an article for those search terms like antenna for tv it's a it gets 200,000 searches per month so you're probably thinking oh yeah I'm going to write an article for that and I'm going to get you know I'm going to get 200,000 uh, people to my website in a month no it doesn't work that way because there's something called domain authority and as a new website you simply don't have that authority where Google's gonna look at your article and say, hey, this is the best article for the, the people that are searching for this. No, it's not gonna happen. Those websites like Digital Trends, uh, cordcutter.com, um, you know, all of these big, massive, high domain uh, authority websites are going to get that spot. So what I like to do is I like to go for those longer tail keywords and you're going to hear that in the SEO long tail keywords. And what that means is you're not just going for these, you know, you know, three word key, uh, search phrases because you know, yeah, they get a lot of volume, but uh, they have a lot of competition and you're not going to rank from. So start adding or start looking at different ways to approach that search term. Like instead of just best HDT or best antenna, which is going to get all kinds of traffic, you say, okay, best outdoor HDTV antenna. And it gives you that longer tail keyword that gets a good number of searches per month and the competition is much lower. And that means you can start to rank for that, okay? I hope that makes sense. And so what I typically like to do is I usually don't go after any search phrases or keywords that get less than a thousand. I mean, sometimes I do, but definitely no lower than 500. But again, maybe you can, but the, the point of this video is to show you now we have a tool in our toolbox that gives us an estimated number of searches per month, okay? And now just going over to this panel again, if you look at the traffic, so you can see the position, I like this too, because it tells you for this particular search phrase, look what's what's um, ranking number one, okay? So, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And so this is one of my websites, antennajunkies.com, you can go check it out if you want. Uh, it's all about core cutting and this types of things. But anyhow, um, you can see for this particular search phrase, my article, ranks number one it's the number one position and you can see the estimated traffic okay it gets around 121,000 uh views okay and you can see the other competition this is good it's always good to know the competition in your niche and so i like it for this reason who else is ranking and it it gives you not a little bit of insight into okay who is your competition so tech hive you know huge huge number of it's a huge website tech hive and, and i'm beating that site because i've targeted a specific combination or long tail keyword that i could rank for so i hope that makes sense and now you can also go over to the words so how many words does this particular article have that i am ranking for on this search phrase so you can see this particular article is fairly lengthy it's about 5400 words and as you go over, you can see the other, um, the competition in your niche. Okay, so I like it for this. And then there's another keyword section here. Okay, how many of these exact match keywords? Now, <clears throat> you can see none of them have exact match keywords. And the longer you make 
your uh, search phrase, I mean, it's the harder it's going to be to get those exact match keywords. Okay, so, but that's not the, that's not overly critical because Google has AI built in and it can look at your article and it is smart enough to know what your article is about. So it used to be that you were always shooting for that exact match keywords when Google's algorithms weren't, you know, as smart as they are today. But today, it really doesn't matter so much because Google can can really, the AI that's built into it can really begin to, to know just by scanning your article, the context of what your article is about. It's, it's, it's crazy. So again, I don't really pay too much attention to this. And if you're using, um, you know, like a Yoast, these SEO tools, that are, you know, that you can uh, plug in for WordPress, you know, they, they try to get all those green dots, you know, all that thing. You know, I would, I would use that with a grain of salt, I would say, because, you know, the, the Google AI, the Google al algorithms are, you know, they're smarter than that now. They're, they're just simply smarter. But definitely traffic and words, absolutely. Very useful information here. Okay, so... I mean, this is really what I wanted to show you. I mean, watch the, the, the video on SEO where I show you how you can leverage Google to do some keyword uh, research and then install Keyword Surfer as a Chrome extension. And, it, you know, it's just another great tool in your toolbox to, uh, to get you going. So I think I'm going to cut the, the video off here because I probably rambled on long enough. But anyhow... So get Keyword Surfer installed in your Google Chrome extension. Start doing that keyword research and keyword analysis, and you'll be ranking higher in Google in no time. So this is Fred, TFG Media. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.